weather now, and it's a nice night out to go and check the last super moon of the summer, right? That's, oh, see it now. It is a gorgeous moon. Got in a lot of photographs. So wait, check this out. This one is from Susan Cherry. Now you may ask, well, why is it the full harvest moon? It's the full harvest moon because it's the full moon closest to the fall equinox, which is September 22nd at 9:29, and it is the super moon because it's in its closest orbit around the Earth. Now wait, this is a great photo too. It's from Mandeville. Christine sent it in, and when you take a picture of the moon, kind of low on the horizon, you have something in front of it. That's when it really looks big. Then wait, look at this one. Isn't this incredible? Let me stand out of the way. Carolyn Carson sent this in. She's got a great camera and really made for a beautiful shot. Okay, so what we have happening is that we've got this weak frontal boundary in the area and it's basically dissipating now. But with the moisture, the heating, and the weak front in the area, we had some storms today. There is some drier air to the north, but we're not so much going to feel that. We can zoom in and now the rain is pretty much all dissipated. You take away the heat, the rain dies down. There is one little shower, though, right there at the mouth of the Mississippi River. Two thirds of an inch of rain at Audubon. Slidell had a third, downtown a third, Gulfport a third, and at the airport, two hundredths of an inch of rain. But look, this is from Old Araby. Here's the city off in the distance. Sun is setting. There you can see how the cloud is kind of lit up by the setting sun. And that was the storm that was over in Vashery. You could see it from Algiers to Michelle Maltzen and that twitpeck. And then in Angie, what a gorgeous sky there, the crepuscular rays, basically the sun rays. So that's just beautiful too. Some great pictures today. High temperatures were near 90 to the low 90s over towards Audubon and also Hammond. They tend to run a little bit hotter in the mid 90s there. 80 is now being reported. That humidity is high. The wind Wind is light at this time, and about the area upper 70s to the low 80s. You will notice it feels hotter over at the lakefront. That's where we have a heat index of about 89. The wind is light to calm, and with the moisture in place, there is the potential you could have a little bit of patchy fog in the morning, but not much. Morning low temperatures will be in the low to the upper 70s. High temperatures tomorrow are going to be in the low 90s, some mid 90s to Hammond Audubon. As we look at the forecast model, the potential for some showers going into the afternoon hours, a couple of thunderstorms, but not as much activity as we had today. So as we look at that exact cast, we're seeing tomorrow right at 9 o'clock in the morning. We're in the mid-80s, noontime upper 80s, your highs low 90s, about a 20 to 30 percent rain chance. Wednesday, 20 percent. Thursday, rain chances go up. As the cold front begins to move our way, higher chance Friday. Saturday morning, a chance of rain, and then look, Sunday morning, lows upper 60s, North Shore.